All right, you're probably wondering what is this? I took out the uh, the silver cowling. I don't know what, what that's called, but I'm calling it that. I never uh, liked the color, so I decided to take it off and paint it black. <clears throat> here it is right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh, there you go. Okay. So uh, my next video, I'm going to show how to... Uh, to reassemble that, but I never liked the color of that. I thought it stuck out. It also, I think it it makes the bike look not that great. Um, initially, when this uh, bike was released, the photos and stuff, everyone said it was ugly, and I tended to agree. But I uh, I reveled in the fact that it was so ugly. But a lot of that was actually that that piece, I believe, um, I suspect, because it kind of made this area. Uh, stick out a little bit too much. So my um, my thought is that making it black will uh, kind of hide that area and then accentuate the area that it needs to accentuate. The other thing is that if you look at the other colorways, that area is actually black or that cowling is black and it actually looks okay, but then it's there's a distracting piece underneath. There's like a chin spoiler that matches the Martian red and the uh, acid green or gold. And that just takes away from that whole area. So it's like they, uh, they, they kind of like did half on each uh, colorway. The chin spoiler on this is black. Um, and I'm having that match the, the overall whatever cowling piece. But I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. Um, again, I'll show you a video on how to reassemble it. But this is everything that's behind that that panel, all the electricals. Um, there's a couple pieces that you have to take. But I wanted to show the air box. So I was able to take off this cover plate. And that is the air box, I believe, right there. It's a total of like three, four, five screws. Or no, seven screws. Um, but that's the airbox. There's four screws that holds that cover plate, I believe. Uh, I haven't taken it out, but that's what I believe to be the airbox. Uh, I wasn't going to go to that extent and actually take it out. I just wanted to uh, show you. Um, that piece is right there. You have to take the gas cap off, and then there's three screws underneath it. You have to pop that off, and then there's two screws at the bottom, and then two screws on top. So that's what it looks like, in case you're wondering. Everything's pretty relatively easy to take off. You just have to know the order and then um, not really force anything. Um, in, in doing this, I actually um, am kind of impressed with Aprilia and how they designed this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so that's kind of making me pretty happy about the whole process. Um, I thought about opening up these these vents, which if you saw my first video, I didn't like the fact that they were covered up, but it, it won't look that good, I don't think. So I'll put that cover plate back on, I think. I actually thought about maybe creating like a an airport somehow and having it feed back into the airbox, but it looks like the airbox is somewhat, I don't know, closed off. There's probably another area that where it can suck air from, but uh, it wasn't from the front area. All right, so that's pretty much it for now. I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like if you're wondering what uh, certain parts or what's behind the certain parts. That's what it is right there. And then um, hopefully you'll see the final product and agree with me that it looks a lot better. All right, that's it.